and welcome to the session. My name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says an analysis of monthly wages paid to workers in two firms A and B belonging to the same industry gives the following results. Now number of wage earners of firm A are 586 and for firm B are 648. Mean of monthly wages for firm A is rupees 5243 and for firm B is rupees 5243. Variance of the distribution of wages for firm A is 100, for firm B is 121. Now first part is which firm A or B pays larger amount as monthly wages and second part is which firm A or B shows greater variability in individual wages. Now here we see that mean of monthly wages for firm A is rupees 5,253 and here also we have rupees 5,253. So let us start with the solution to this question. First of all we see that for firm A number of wage earners is equal to 586 mean of monthly wages that is x bar is equal to rupees 5253 so amount paid by firm A is equal to rupees 586 multiplied by 5253 and that is equal to rupees 3078258. Now variance of distribution of wages is equal to 100. Therefore, standard deviation that is sigma is equal to square root of variance. So that will be equal to square root of 100 and that is equal to 10. Now, coefficient of variation for firm A will be equal to standard deviation for firm A divided by mean for firm A multiplied by 100 that is 10 divided by 5253 multiplied by 100 and that comes out to be 0 0.19. So this is the coefficient of variation for firm A so similarly for firm B we see that number of wage earners is equal to 648 mean of monthly wages is equal to rupees 5253 therefore amount paid by firm B is equal to rupees 648 multiplied by 5253 and that is equal to rupees 3403944 and SD that is standard deviation is equal to sigma that is equal to square root of variance that is equal to square root of 121 that is 11 Therefore, coefficient of variation for form B is equal to sigma for form B divided by mean for form B multiplied by 100 and that is 11 divided by 5253 multiplied by 100. On calculating this, we get 0 0.21. Now the first question was which firm A or B pays out larger amount 
as monthly wages so we have seen that for form a the amount is rupees 3078258 and for form b is 3403944 so our answer to first part of the question is b second part was which form a or b shows greater variability in individual wages now we see that coefficient of variation for form b is 0.21 and for form a is 0.19 since coefficient of variation for form b is greater than coefficient of variation for form a therefore our answer to the second part is also b that is the form b shows greater variability in individual wages because coefficient of variation for form b is greater than that of form a so this is our answer to the question i hope that you understood the question and enjoyed the session have a good day